first thing I'm going to show you with this video is this transition where you've got a video playing and it transitions from one to the other on the left and the right using an effect. The second thing I'm going to show you is a little bit more complicated and you can see here we've got a video on the left, then right comes in and then from below with this kind of black outline on it. All right, the transition is if you go to your effects and just type in slide, you can grab the slide transition and drag it and drop it onto where you want that transition to happen. So notice what it does here. There we go, comes in from one side to the other. You can adjust this, so if you click on that transition there, you can change the duration so I can extend it a bit longer and all I'm doing is I'm hovering it with my mouse and then clicking and then dragging to the right or you can click into it and change it if you want. So now notice it happens a bit slower. You can also do things like reverse it if you want, uh, have it come in from the right to the left instead of the left to the right. All right, that's the transition effect. Now for the other stuff, the split screen stuff. So this video I want to play until here before the next video comes in. So I want to do one thing to that next video first. So that's going to be the next video. And before I do that, I want to actually add that black line, that shadow. So I'm going to go over to my effects again, and I'm just going to type in shadow. And we've got drop shadow. And you drag and drop that onto it. And I'm going to decrease the size just temporarily so that I can actually see where the shadow is. Now I'm going to go down to my shadow and I'm going to up the opacity to 100 because I want it to be really thick and I'm going to adjust the distance and so you can see there we go as I pull it out adjust it to wherever you want it well I want it on the left side of the screen like it was so I can just change the direction until I get it over to the left and that's minus 90 degrees so you can see now I've got a nice solid line on the left side of my screen I'm going to up that back to where it was at 100%. Okay, so now I've got this video playing. I want it to play tell it here before it transitions into the other. I'm going to add a keyframe to my position that says that's where I want it to be at the start. And the other video I want to do the same thing to. So I'm going to move it to where I want it to come in at. And I don't want to move my playhead because I want them to actually happen at the same time and same place. Now with that one, I'm going to take the position, I'm going to drag it to the right until it's off screen. I want to make sure to hit toggle animation to add that keyframe. Okay, so now up until this point, they're both going to be here. So in a couple frames, I want it to now be where the one is in the middle. So I just moved my playhead and now I'm going to just hover over the position and click with my mouse and drag it to the left until it's in the middle where I want it. And then I'm going to click on my other video and do the same thing. I'm going to drag and drop it to the left and you can see it's adding those keyframes in there. So now it's going to play and then get to that point where they slide over. Okay, so now I want that third video to come in from the corner. I'm going to drag that third video and do the same thing. I want to identify where I want it to start off screen. So at this point, I want that to be off screen. And I'm going to move it, and I'm going to do it on the lower left instead of the lower right. Uh, but again, before I do that, I want that shadow. So I've already added the drop shadow to this. I'm just going to change the angle to where I want it. So that way it's actually uh, straight above instead of to the side. And when the song gets to about this point, that's where I'm going to want that one to be. So let's back this up, delete that, and now move it to where I want it. So it's going to be right next to that and right below that. And you can see it's already adding the keyframe because I already have the toggle animation on. So this is where I'm going to, I want it to end up. Okay, so now that I've got them where I want to be, I need to get this one off screen. So I'm going to back it up a little bit to where I want it off screen. And I'm just going to drag that position so that it's back out of the 
way there, so it's just so it's coming in from the corner, and just adjusting it. Now let's see what happens. Playing, he's singing, comes in from the left or the right, and there you go. And we've now got one upper, one lower, one to the right. Now obviously you can tell this isn't going to be the final product because you can't see him in two of these. But the point is that you now know how to do this split screen effect, similar to what they did on uh, some TV shows where they kind of have multiple uh, things coming in from the screen and little squares. All right. I hope you found that helpful. Have a good day.